On August 4, 1914, the military history of Canada during the First World War began. When Britain declared war on Germany, Canada was automatically brought into the war. Because of Canada's legal status as a British Dominion, which left foreign policy decisions in the hands of the UK Parliament. The Ukrainian Canadian internment was part of the confinement of the enemy aliens in Canada during and for two years after the end of World War I. Under the terms of the War Measures Act passed during 1914, the Canadian government worried that the Ukrainians having Austria Hungarian citizens would be disloyal to Canada and the Crown. Canada was at war with Austrian Hungary and about 4,000 Ukrainian men and some women and children of Austria Hungarian citizenship were kept in 24 internment camps and related work sites or concentration camps. In many cases, families were dragged out of their homes and had their possessions stripped. From they were forced from their homes and they had no choice in this. After the Ukrainians were taken to their camps, they were forced into doing hard labor, like building roads, fences, and carrying wood or other equipment for new buildings. At the age of 22, Yuri Forchuk was at a Jasper internment camp. The guards shot at him, but he managed to escape alive. He may have survived his escape, but nothing was ever the same. It tainted his entire life. Yuri Forchuk thought this was hanging over his head and he thought that his past would come up and be a thrust in his face like a scandal. But in 2008, the Harper government set up the $10 million Canadian First World War Interment Recognition Fund to support projects commemorating the experience of the thousands of Ukrainians and other Europeans interned between 1914 and 1920 and the many others who suffered a suspension of their civil liberties. The Ukrainians were arrested because of their race. That happened today. Equality rights would have stepped in and prevented that from happening. I don't think it was fair that they were arrested because of their race and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms wouldn't have allowed that. Ukrainians shouldn't have been arrested for their race in World War I because of if the Charter was embedded at that time they would have that wouldn't have been able to happen because they, the Charter would have protected the rights and freedoms. 